Okay, hello everyone. It is a beautiful morning at Ocala International Airport and today we're going to be flying to apparently what is the shortest paved runway in Florida in this bad boy. So we got a beautiful 152. And we're going to Cedar Key. So we'll see you in the air. Ground Cessna 64823 parked here at student parking. We have information Bravo and we'll be departing to the west. 64823, Roger. Runway 26, taxi via Alpha. 26, please. Runway 26 via Alpha. 64823. Ocala Tower Cessna 64823 is ready for takeoff at 26. 64823, Ocala Tower, hold short at runway 26 uh, for landing traffic. You can taxi up to the hold short at the runway. And we'll hold short and we'll wait for the landing traffic. 64823. 10 degrees of flaps. G728, Whiskey Power, Ocala Tower, Roger. Report uh, 3 southeast of the airport, plan uh, left base, runway 26. Correction, Cessna 64823, runway 26, proceed on course, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, proceed on course 64823. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, and we got the landing light on. Now we're gonna do a short field takeoff. I usually like to do that because you get to see how the engine is running. And we'll be landing at a short field anyway. Four three two Gulf, ten miles southeast. Let's go. Bravo, inbound four stop. Five four three two Gulf for Report three southeast of the airport. Plan left base runway two six. Runway two six. Report uh, three miles southeast. Correct. Sir. And we're off. And uh, left base runway two six. Runway two six. Two three frequency change proof. Frequency change approved, how it going? Alright. So right now we're at three thousand feet. Pull some power. Trim it for level. So Cedar Key does not have an ATIS and I have Crystal Rivers ATIS. So we're going to put that in real quick and maybe see the kind of winds that they're having at Crystal River, which is pretty close by. So that's 118.32. Nothing. I guess we can't really pick up Crystal River's ATIS. And we are only 17 miles away. That's kind of weird. 118.32. Let me double check. Yep, 118.32. 118.32. Uh, well, there's other ways we can check the winds. Like the windsock. So. Let's go check it out. So now we're coming up on the Gulf Coast of Florida. About to reach the water, I got my power pulled back, I got my carb heat on, and I'm gonna start uh, preparing for landing. Maybe looking for some wind direction through the water and the waves, but as of now, it looks pretty calm. So, we'll see Cedar Key in a few moments. Here we are coming up on the coastline. And we're looking for traffic, we're at about 1,600 feet and descending. Probably gonna go down to about 1,000 feet. And I'll make my calls. And then we'll be landing shortly. Now this is a 
very short runway. You only have about 2,300 feet to land, and that, that's pretty short. Uh, but it should be pretty simple in a 152. It slows down quite nicely, and it has no problem, really. And maybe when we fly over the field, we'll be able to see the windsock. But right now, I'm at about 1,000 feet. Got the carb heat on, and we're going to be slowing it down just a little bit. We're, well, we're pretty good right now. We're at about 85 knots. And Cedar Key is right ahead. So now we're coming up right on Cedar Key. There it is. And now we're looking for the field, and I'll call once more. Cedar, Cedar Key traffic, Cessna 64823, about three miles from the field. We'll be overflying the field, entering the left downwind from runway 05, Cedar Key. So there's the field right down there. Pretty small, pretty, pretty small, but uh, very doable in a plane like this. So here's the town. Very nice little town, come and eat. You know, it's a great little flight to take your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever. Here it is. And I think I'm going to change to runway 23. The windsock doesn't really show much. It looks calm, but uh, 23 would be a little bit nicer, I'd say. Traffic says a 64823 turning left base for runway 23 Cedar Key. Zero, three, two, copy. 20 degrees of flaps. Slow it on down. City Key traffic says a 64823 turning final for runway 23 Cedar Key. Full flaps. Now we're at 500 feet. Pulling it all. Five knots. Sixty knots. There we go. Sorry, my camera moved a little bit there, but... Yeah, so here's Cedar Key. Beautiful, beautiful little airport. I'm gonna open the window. Cedar Key traffic, Cessna 64823, back taxiing, runway 23, Cedar Key. And I'll call once more. Cedar Key traffic, Cessna 64823, back taxiing, runway 23, Cedar Key. Got the window open, and it is quite hot outside. 
So here we got a little bit of a displacement threshold, probably about 200 feet. But I'm going to use it for taking off since this is such a short little field. And remember, the shortest paved runway in Florida, apparently, so. Wow, that does look short. So we're going to use all available runway. Now I will call. Again, I apologize for the bumpiness in the camera. We'll get that fixed. Cedar Key traffic says a 64823 departing runway 23 Cedar Key. All right. And we're good to go. Airspeed's coming alive. Five knots, and we're off. Oh, and the runway ends. Wow. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So we're getting on our climb. Climbing at about 70. CDP traffic says a 64823 turning left crosswind runway 23 departing to the east, Cedar Key. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Now to fly back into this haze all the way home. So yeah, thank you for joining me on this flight out to Cedar Key. It's been a beautiful flight and the landing was not an issue. I really recommend it uh, to any pilot who wants to go to a really cool town. Cedar Key is a beautiful town. Uh, just remember, practice, practice your short field takeoffs and landings, especially landings. Some people tend to overshoot the runway in Cedar Key, and there have been accidents in the past. So just make sure to brush up on that, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching Florida Flying.